What's up, gamers? If you're seeing this video, I bricked my GPU like an idiot. And I looked everywhere online just to find a fix for it. Which is pretty much this video example, except I came across one problem. I got an error for the exact same thing, PN mismatch, or in other words, subsystem ID. Now, the only reason why this issue occurs is because in the new AMD Flash version, it pre it tries to prevent you from installing the wrong files, but as a result, it also prevents you from fixing your GPU. Like, let's say for example, you save the backup in case, like me, but the PN is different. So therefore, it's preventing me from going back to my original BIOS. So for this fix is pretty easy. I'll provide this in the description. It's an older version of the AMD flash tool. And this one does not have that barrier. So when you download it, which is pretty easy, you just go to here and then you just download. Uh, what would you want to do is go to the folder. And then you type in command prompt, which you do not have to use the run command because you can literally do it from here. It's easier. You run it as the administrator. And then you go back to the folder, copy the path, and then paste it here by typing CD and that. So after that, you pretty much, oh wait, sorry about that. I had a massive brain fart. But you type in AMD VB flash dot exe, not Windows because you are not using that program. That's for the newer version. It's the one that prevents you from flashing your graphics card. So you type in that, dash F, dash P, zero, and then you insert your BIOS name for your file. Now, you could change the name for it if you want to make it easy. Let's say type it in the command prompt, for example, just to make it easier. I put dot .com, that was stupid. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you see what I mean. And after that, you press enter, and then this time it will actually go through. And you should not see an error. You might see something else at first, which I did. It was like talking something about, I'm not sure why, but it still went through for me anyways. So I was fine from there. And after that, you restart your PC and you're done. So I hope this video helps you out besides my starting. And um, if I come across any more issues in the future that are complicated, I'll make sure to share it on my YouTube account.